Hi, welcome to Golden Needle Designs. Today we're going to show you how to make the Jungle Animal Rag Quilt. With this pattern piece we're showing you here, you can uh, cut out the center of the pattern piece and that way you can easily center your embroidery design in the middle of the piece. You'll make 15 embroidered blocks and 15 solid blocks. To construct a quilt block, you lay one piece of green print fabric facing down and lay a square piece of quilt batting on top of it, centering the batting. The batting's slightly smaller so it won't show when the quilt's finished. You lay the embroidered piece of fabric or a uh, light green print fabric square on top. And you pin and sew around the outside edge of each block and you use one half inch seam allowance. The square pieces are all sewn into separate blocks first and then they'll be sewn into rows and then the rows will be sewn together. Raw edges are to the, sewn to the outside. And here's our finished quilt block. Pin and sew the blocks together in rows of five. The seams will be to the outside. Once again, you'll be sewing with a half inch seam allowance and be sewing over the, the stitches that you did previously. Sew the rows together the same as you sewed the blocks together with the seams to the outside, the raw edges to the outside. Next, you'll sew green strips made the same way as the blocks to each side. Next, you'll sew green strips to the top and bottom of the quilt. Next, you'll sew brown strips to each side of the quilt, and then you'll sew brown strips to the top and bottom of the quilt. And you'll want to read the instructions of how to finish the outside edges before doing this. After your quilt's all sewn together, you'll want to snip along the raw edges of the seams and there should be about one quarter inch in between each snip. Keep in mind that I just used two quilt block pieces to demonstrate how you 
uh, snip the seams. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to visit us at Golden Needle Designs.